Hi, it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. All right, can you guys see this with the lights in there? It's so cute. It's a little lantern, so I'm going to show you how to make it. Um, and a lot of times, like, well, now that we're doing the 3D block letters, I feel like I can fold a lot of these lanterns or boxes a little bit better now that now that I understand how to do it um so anyway I was looking for a fun like easy Halloween project I thought these cute little lanterns with um these little lights from Amazon which is on my Amazon shop it's amazon.com slash shop slash the useless crafter and it's actually under cake topper materials because I use this one a lot um to add lights to the cake topper. It's cool because if you can see, I'm holding it by a little tab. So when the tab is inserted, then the lights are off. When you take out the tab, it lights up. So your cake topper or your lantern or whatever actually has basically an on off button. So as long as you um, leave the opening clear and easy to access, of course. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do this. Let's go. Um, first thing is it's on Creative Fabrica, so I'm going to show you what that looks like. Oops, wrong one. Uh, let's see, here it is. So it's called the Spooky Halloween Paper Lantern Template. So it's really cute. Um, here are the four sides, so it definitely, it is what you see. And so all you need is, I used a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and I used one sheet of vellum paper. Uh, you know, you don't even need the vellum paper if you don't have it, uh, although it is on my Amazon shop. <laughs> I do like using it because I feel like it adds that extra touch, um, but I use it for my cake topper, so I had it already um, in my supplies. But if you don't have it, what I found is, because before I bought the vellum paper, what I was using is copy paper. So it's gonna be more white, but this is supposed to be a lantern out at night. You're not gonna notice that it's white, um, but the copy paper is light enough that the light will flicker through. So that's really what we want, is some sort of light so that you can see the, the outline, the shadows of this spooky lantern. All right, so um, download it. I'm gonna show you how to upload it. So once you click download, it's gonna be a zip file, okay? So it's gonna look hold on it's gonna look like this one hold on so it's gonna be in your downloads and it's gonna be a zip file spooky halloween paper lantern so double click on that double click on halloween lantern and it's in the template because we don't want a jpeg right so let's go into template and what you want is you want the sv oh something just got into my eye you want the svg file so I always take this one and I drop it into my desktop, okay? Because you need to unzip it and separate it and bring it in. Then what you do is you go into design space and you're going to upload, upload image, and then you're gonna browse to find where you saved it. I saved it as a desktop, um, on my desktop, um, under Halloween something, Halloween paper lantern template, okay? So once you double click on that, it's in here. It will take you back to this screen and here is our file and you're going to insert the image. Now, I'm sure you've all been burned by files before, right? So this is what came in and I was like, what the heck am I looking at? And so I thought, so the reason why I changed it to a lighter color was I didn't know if there were other things on here that I needed to look at. Turns out that there's nothing else to look at. We need to insert our cut lines, okay? So I'm gonna show you how to do that. So first thing is, let me delete this, because now that we've brought in our file, just so that we're not confused by anything. First off that I notice is it's 22 inches by 7.7. .7. Not really, because this is our volume paper, right? Or our copy paper. So what we wanna do is we wanna ungroup this and what I would do is I would just move it below like this. And then just so that it doesn't um, get in the way of my resizing. Okay, the other thing that I noticed is let's change the colors so that um, your volume paper doesn't get stuck with your regular cardstock paper, right? And I chose a light color because I wanted to see like, am I missing something? Because when it's black, sometimes you don't see the dashed lines or other things that come with this file. 
but the only thing that this file came with are these little markers up here and i realize what these markers are for you need in order i mean you can fold it without a dotted line or without it being um, debossed or embossed whatever but it's a lot easier when there are little marks for us to just fold instead of trying to make sure that it is folded straight so what i did was i went into shapes got our score line okay so here's our score line and these little lines tell us where the score lines go so put it right over it um and to be honest the first time that i did it when i created um this one i had gotten rid of those lines because i'm like what are those lines hanging out there for i deleted them and then i eyeballed my score line <laughs> But now I realize that those are the visual markers for that. Okay, we want to make sure that this dotted line goes all the way to the bottom. So take your little thing, extend it to the bottom, and then duplicate. Same thing over here. Put it over this line. That should be good. Duplicate. Put it over here. And then one more, because this little tab is going to close up. You're going to put glue right here and it's going to fold into this side so that you have an enclosed little lantern. Okay, so we want to duplicate that last score line and then bring it over here. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to grab the four score lines, your yellow template, and you want to attach because you want those score lines to score exactly where we told them to score. Okay, so let's Okay, so now let's look at this yellow one. We don't need that extra line up there, so let's go to contour. And click on 100 right here, so it's to 100%, and let's see what it has. Uh, we don't need these little things, so let's just click on them to get rid of them. All right, so there's our image. Our image is, let's see, it is 11.5 by eight, so that's gonna be a little bit too big for us to cut, right? So what you wanna do is let's line this up with this, okay? And select all, and let's change the width from 11.5 to nine to 11.5. Now, if you, had, if you have 24 by 12 cardstock, then you can, you, this can go up to 23.5, right? And you can make it really big. So this thing, would be um let's see let's see how tall you would be you would be about 16 inches tall and let's see this is 23 so about five inches wide whereas right now my thing is a little bit under three inches per panel okay so it'd be a lot bigger um, and mine right now is about seven inches high, so it would it would double in height. Um, okay, so that's how you would do that. So let's zoom out for a second. Now I okay, so this score line it tells you that you need the scoring tool. I don't have that. So what I do have is I have a deboss tool. So instead, I'm gonna go to score and I'm gonna use my pick list and I'm gonna pick something that I have. I have the deboss tool, so that's what I'm gonna pick. So you need to do that for each one of these lines. Otherwise, when you, I'm gonna show you. Uh, let's go to the make it screen. Uh, let's see, it's not supported. Why is, oh, because I made it too big. I'm like, why isn't this working? Okay, hold on. Uh, let's go back to here and change this to uh, 11.5 and then let's go to make it. So see, it's going to tell you that it's going to score it, then it's going to do a fine deboss and then it's going to cut. So on this one, first it's going to do the scoring of the three and then it's going to do the deboss and then it's going to cut all the way around. Well, I don't have a scoring tool. So what you want to do is use what you have <laughs> for one. So anywhere where I have my score, I'm going to click on it as well. I'm going to hit the shift and I'm going to click on score these and I'm going to change it from scoring to debossing. Okay. And let me make this bigger so that you can actually see what we have. 
And I'm not too worried that it extends past this cut this cut piece because it's actually going to be on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock. So th these little score lines are just going to go past the cut line. It's not going to impact your project at all. All right. And then that's it. And then this is laid out exactly like this as you see it. So everywhere that where there's a score line, you're just going to fold it, fold it, fold it, and it's going to be into a little cube. Is this a cube? <laughs> it's open at the bottom so you can put your light inside and it's super cute I mean I think this is something that after you cut it if you cut quite a few of them um, I think with younger kids you can definitely have them help you fold it and then glue the vellum paper that was super easy because don't put the glue on the vellum paper put the glue on the inside of this and then that way your vellum paper goes on top and you don't have any glue marks because you can only put glue on where you have the black pieces so it's not going to be you know randomly on your vellum paper so um, I think this is a fun family activity and then it would look so cute. I would do multiples though. Um, and maybe in different sizes. So even if it's the same, because you have four different images, you could do four of them of four different sizes and have um, each panel sticking out of the four. Um, I think that would be really cute. All right, <laughs> let me know what you think. If you like these kinds of projects, these random ones, um, I am here to, to listen and to, you know, kind of work my way through what, um, what you guys want to see. All right, thank you so much. Have a good evening.